Hey guys, and welcome to episode 3 of JD Shaw's General Entertainment, giving you reviews about all entertainment, new and old. Well, first of all, I was going to go around Norwich today and show you some of my hometown so you can see who I am and where I'm from, but unfortunately I can't because it's raining like mad out there and I'll have to save that for another episode. Um, however, saying that, we'll jump straight into news. News is that Pirate Bay in the UK has been banned, which sucks um, because it was really, really good sight, but... I hope it doesn't go to America. I'm saying that because some American viewers might not know that about the UK, but I hope it doesn't go to you guys. Um, and in other reviews, I'm going to go on with Total Recall, which is a remake of a movie from the 90s that had Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. Now, this remake is coming out on the 22nd of August in the UK, and it should be really, really good. It's about a man that goes to Mars, loses his memory, and he can't, you know, he's got to sort of survive to find out about his memory and what actually happened to him, things like that. So that's really, really good. Uh, moving straight to games, I'm going to go with the Assassin's Creed series today, which is Assassin's Creed 1, 2, Brotherhood and Revelations. Um, this is the third one, Brotherhood, which is the one I've got at the minute, because I haven't got Revelations yet, haven't managed to review that, I've got a lot of other games to review, so that should be quite fun. But yeah, Assassin's Creed is about, um, in the first one you're an assassin, you're part of a clan, but a lot of stuff goes wrong, and you've basically got to um, start your own clan in the second one with a guy called Ezio Alditore da Firenze, which I think is one of the best names ever, shall I just say that. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's really, really good, and it's good online play. Uh, I'm only in Brotherhood and Revelation, so can you do online play, so don't get one or two thinking you can play with your friends or anything, because you can't. Strictly one player for those two. But it is good online play, sneaking around assassin assassinating each other. It's very, very good. Um, for movies, I'm going to roll with Disney movies because I've been suggested this by a couple of friends and I totally agree. Um, Disney movies are good for you whether you're young or old. Anybody enjoys a Disney movie. And um, with me, I have Aladdin, which is a great movie. We've got the genie up here and you've got um, Aladdin, who's a, um, a beggar, um, you know, sort of like a homeless guy. And he meets this princess under strange circumstances. And uh, he comes into contact with a genie and his wishes are, uh, well, they make a really good storyline, obviously. So they made Aladdin about it. I'm not going to give away the ending, but definitely give that a watch. Also, another good movie is The Lion King, uh, which has got Elton John singing it. You know, so if Elton John's in it, it's going to be amazing, right? But yeah, it's a really good movie about a young lion cub who basically making his way to be king. But a lot happens in between. So definitely give that a watch. And Disney have a Pixar company, part of their, you know, obviously big sort of enterprise. And Pixar is, uh, concentrates all on uh, computer animated movies like um, Finding Nemo, Up, Toy Story. And all these seem to be coming out of the cinema recently more than, you know, sort of Aladdin and Lion King style drawing movies. But I guess, you know, they're still really, really good, very, very good watchers. So I'd give any of those a good go. Now for TV series, I'm going to roll with Rob and Big. Absolutely amazing TV series. If you haven't heard about it, Rob is a um, pro skater. He's about five foot five or something. He's quite short, and uh, he's a bit crazy, a bit of a skater. You know, jumps around, goes mad all the time. And he's made made friends with a guy called um, Big Black. Now Big Black is a amazing character. He's uh, six foot five. He's so tall, and um, that basically they both go on adventures together. Like um, they buy a mini horse, they, um, you know, get by sacred geometry, they go on ghost hunts and uh, even one time they try and time travel. So you should definitely give that a watch, a very, very funny watch. Um, and also I have to give a shout out to my um, Alan Partridge, Knowing Me, Knowing You. Now this is a TV series about a guy from Norwich, which is where I'm from, which is why I thought I'd better do it. Um, he's very socially inept. He can't seem to cope around social situations. And um, this is the first series, Knowing Me, Knowing You, where he has his own chat show. So you can imagine a chat show host that can't actually handle a lot of social in, uh, you know, interaction. It's very, very, very funny. Um, definitely worth a watch if you can get a hold of it somehow. Now, um, for music, I'm going to go with Dead Mouse. Now, Dead Mouse is really, really good. Um, it's a guy called Joel Thomas Zen Zinnemann. And um, he's absolutely amazing, really, really good at what he does. Um, my personal favourite song is Strove, but a lot of people like more ghosts and stuff. And uh, yeah, def definitely give them a try. Also, Enet Shikari are really good. I'd suggest songs like A Gap in the Fence or um, probably uh, No Sleep Tonight, which is really, really good. And lastly, I'm going to choose A Day to Remember. Um, Downfall of Us All is a really good song. Um, Plot to 
Hot to Bomb the Panhandle. I really like that one. I definitely give these bands a try with their songs. Okay, so coming up next time, I will hopefully take some videos in and around Norwich, and also there will be a talk about them. To, I'm going to have a guest on the show called Ben Black, and me and him are going to talk about Star Wars and Star Trek and which one's better and why. So that could be quite a funny little argument if you want to join in on that one. I'm sure you'll be giggling away at us, insulting each other about it, but it's going to be all in good fun. So, guess hopefully see you next time, and feel free to hit the like or subscribe button. Take care, guys.